All right, we have to make sure we have audio and we do. This is great. I'm gonna try to get what's on the board here. It's not that clear, but you know, it's not bad. There we go, Ifru. That's the name of my camera. Hard to read, it says condensation number 47. We got amino acid number one. Amino acid number one, amino acid number two, condensation. We're going to bring them together. This N will end up hooked up to this carbonyl. Water will be missing, uh, as promised. And what's our new functional group here? Uh, secondary amide, but Get used to this, everybody. I don't know if the audio is going to be any good because I was so far away. Get used to this, everybody. Biochemistry, biochemists and biologists love renaming all their organic chemistry. They don't like our words. They want their own. Eh, human nature, I guess. Babble, whatever. <laughs> so they don't call that an amide. What do they call it? A peptide bond. So just remember peptide bonds are amides and they hold proteins together. They're very strong. We don't wanna do acid-base chemistry there in biochemistry. Don't do acid-base chemistry there. Don't even think of this H. Don't even think of that H as an option for acid-base chemistry and biochemistry. All the acid-base chemistry happens in the R groups. See those R groups? Sometimes they have an acid in them. Sometimes they have a base in them. And amino acid, acid-based chemistry happens on the ends. There's two ends. You have to know. The convention is to draw your proteins, amino acid, amino terminal first, carboxyl terminal last. You have to know that or else you'll be drawing all your amino acids and proteins wrong and test four will not go well. Okay, so you'll be drawing polypeptides on your test. That's a mini polypeptide. We'll be doing it in our first exercise very soon. And condensation reaction again. You have a picture of these amino acids right here in the front of your exam. Please bring this exam every day until the end of the semester. That's not that many days. I'm going to hand one away right now. She came in and she's going to get hers and she's going to get this and she's going to get that. And there we have it. Oh, just, oh I gave away the wrong test. <laughs> I have two students. Okay. All right, here we go. There's three pieces. You missed one. Okay. So condensation number 47, and we're moving on to sharing screen with uh, Word. Here's our first activity. Very important stuff here. Hope this works. I didn't verify the pen, but I did verify it turns on. Uh, these four sentences, if they aren't second nature by the time of test four, then test four is not going to go well. So. If the pH of an environment is above the pKa of an acid, would you call the environment basic or acidic? The keywords above, the answer is correct, basic. So if you're above the pKa of an acid, you're in a basic environment. Is the acid going to have its proton and be protonated? Or is it going to be missing its proton and be deprotonated. Deprotonated, that's the purpose of a base, to deprotonate. So deprotonated, and we don't have a live pen. This could be a very short video after all. I have two pens. I'm not giving up on this one just yet because the light went on. And where'd the other pen go? There we go. Fresh fingers, everybody. Yay, <laughs> we got a new page. And we want the word deprotonated. 
from our pen setting, which is now gone. I don't know what it's doing. There we go. So we'll have some frustration today, no problem. Deprotonated, I know I'm not on the screen. But it's more important to have our condensation reaction on the screen than my face. Ha. Huh. Okay. What about the pH of the environment below the pKa of an acid? That's an acidic environment. If you're in an acidic environment, are you protonated or deprotonated? You're protonated. You have your proton. Protated. Okay. Let's not invent new words. A little late in the game for that. Protonated, keep your hand off the screen, Dr. Whitaker. There we go. <laughs> okay. Now there's this new thing that's the most important thing today. And here it is. Uh, we're gonna go with this one. A little more dramatic. This whole deal is PI. Now you're gonna see hundreds of definitions of PI in my textbook. There's no textbook. Oh, you're going to see definitions on all these old videos. There's lots of them. And what about the textbook since I brought it up? There is no more textbook. Oh, my goodness. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is our textbook. This is uh, last test four. You're bringing it every day. And it's winter 2022. This handout we're going to use on almost every question. Good stuff. Yes, because that's the third document and it's right there. <laughs> okay, you missed it. All right, I took yours. Here we go. So what we have is this, and PI is defined only as one thing. It's the pH at which a species, it doesn't matter what the species is, it's a thing, has a charge of zero, zero, it's like intermediate, the charge of zero, okay? It's called the isoelectronic point, PI. And it's very important because we use it for purification all the time, and it tells us what kind of charges species have, that, that means what it's attracted to, right? Okay, so, once again, the word above, is that high pH or low pH? Above, high, basic, right? Basic does what to your molecules? Does it put a proton on or take a proton off? It's all about that all the time. Take a proton off, you're taking H plus off. What did your charge just become when you lost a plus? Negative. Got a big fat negative here. Negative. What about your pH? When, when your pH goes down, you're acidic, right? That means you're putting a proton on, right? What's the charge of this proton? Plus one, what's your charge? Plus one. Well, don't go plus one, just say you have a plus charge. It'll be some amount of charge. Very rarely will it be an integer, It'll, you know? A fraction of the molecules will be plus one and a fraction of the molecules will be zero. But your net result is a slightly positive charge. More comments on your exam. Every question on here is represented on previous exams, without exception. You've got lots of study material. That's all we're doing till the end of the semester, studying stuff off this. I wanted a new uh, lecture here because I think this really is going to Bring the PI thing together. We have to get busy though. Yes. Um, we're only worried about test four right now. I'm sorry. We can't, we don't have time. We don't have enough time to worry about test four, but we certainly don't have time to worry about the final. I don't want to be sarcastic, but this test four, we got to get on now. So we're going to start with F. You got to find F. Did you find F? Two things. What's the full name? On, the, on your handout, you're going to bring every day. Phenylalanine, it's alanine with a phenyl group. Those that you know what a phenyl is and you're 
your biochemistry teacher, not me, your biochemistry teacher, which you will all have, will make you memorize these. It's like 99% of them. You have a good background, trust me. If you get through this class with a C, you have a solid background, you're ready. And you know that if I've memorized alanine, which has a methyl group as the R, then I see the name phenylalanine and I just put a phenyl on that methyl and I have the right, I've memorized two molecules just because I know something about nomenclature, okay? So good for you. I'm gonna pause the video to give something back to a student. And we're gonna pause share what I think I, I think I also have to pause the video. Well, this might be happening on, on the video. We have three things for you. One, two, three. And we're back. Uh, we're, I don't know, resume share. I think I, I, don't, I didn't stop the video. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're going to draw, we're going to draw a small apparently today. Some of you are getting pretty good at drawing small, I've noticed. <laughs> and I think on the handout it says H3N, that's a three. We're drawing the fully protonated form. I want to point out on this handout, these are at pH seven. So a lot of the H's are missing. Every pKa that's uh, what above or below seven will be missing on this handout. You got the sentences you need. So if I have an acid with a pKa of six, is it protonated or deprotonated? At pH seven, it's deprotonated. Okay, well you've got those here. But what happens if I lower the pH to two? to that acid that has a pKa of six. Now it's protonated. So you're, everything's protonated here. So F, it goes to this, and then it goes to, a, we're drawing our phenols because, you know, we should. And we got this. Now don't put O minus, the handout has O minus. Don't put it. That's deprotonated. Why? What's the number beside the O minus on F? Please be active students right now. What is the number beside the CO2 minus in F? 2.58. Why is there a pKa there when there's no proton? What's the statement say right here? Uh, the amino acid, zwitterion form. All acid sites at pH 7. Yeah, this question's not about pH 7, is it? Put the H on. There you go. I missed the C. She is correct. Oh, this is perfect. I love this mistake. You know why? Because three students in the class made the same mistake on their test. They had a molecule that had benzyl and phenyl, and they drew the same thing for both. Why? Because you forgot. Benzyl has the extra CH2, and we're fixing it now. It's almost like I did that on purpose, but I'm confessing I didn't. <laughs> okay. That's a CH2 there, right? You want me to fix it better? No. Okay. What's the pKa of that? There's only one number there for... Uh, there's two numbers. Hey, there's two numbers. The two something, or is it a one something? I can't even... I don't even know. I don't have... To. I do. So they're alphabetical. Learn how to use this alphabetical because this is your handout. Uh, F, 2.6. That's the pKa of this molecule. How come I didn't write that? Hello? Go slow with this computer. How come I didn't write down the NH3 portion, which says 9.2? Why did I not write that down? Why did I not write down 9.2 in that box? If this molecule has to act like an acid, which of those reacts first? This is, this is review. All of the rest of the semester's review except for three new mechanisms. And I got news on those too. I'm letting all the cats out of the bag right now. Crazy expression, cat out of the bag. I don't know where it came from. Uh, you're leaving me. It's sad, yes. 
but I'm letting you go because you're ready. Well, if you pass this course, you're ready. You should be at the level, and I think most of you are getting there, where you can learn a new mechanism on your own. If there's a mechanism on here we haven't studied yet, that's a new mechanism. There's versions of these in the notes area at Moodle. There's a biochemistry notes area at Moodle, which will be, you should think of that as a textbook now. There's examples of each mechanism on here, and you must learn them on your own. That's, that's this, this is to show that you're ready to move on from this course, okay? I'll give you their names. The Edmund degradation is one. The cyanogen bromide degradation is another. DCC coupling is another. And those are the three big new ones. Okay, so when I take the H off, the 2.6 comes off first, right? That's why I wrote it there. What are you gonna have? You're gonna have CO2 minus. Hey, I think you're gonna have the draw aim that's in the document. I gotta go real slow. I gotta not forget the extra CH2. There we go, it's there now. I'm off the hook from before. And what's the PKA of this one? There's only one number left, what is it? Yeah, and I'm going with one decimal. Please do that too, because you're gonna do some simple math with these PKAs. You don't need the second decimal. Okay, and you said 9.3? Sorry? 9.2. 9.2, with rounding to two. Okay. And that's the last H that comes off. And what would you call this form? Uh, it's not letting me do a two. <laughs> nice slow two. Now this form, considering the question had a start, look at the wording on number one. If we started with a fully protonated form or version, what are we ending with? We've taken all the protons off fully. Wow, well, it does not like a letter with, I'm gonna type a lot today. Fully deprotonated. Uh, I'm gonna put it down there, whatever likes us. Right there. Good. Okay. Um, circle the PI form for each species. Hello. Why is this the only P Why is this the only PI form for this species? What's the definition of PI? A neutral charge, the pH at which this species has a neutral charge. I need to know what was the last H plus off? I need a number 2.6. Okay. Okay. And uh, this one here. First H plus, eh, let's see, last H plus off again. Nine point two. Okay. So what's the deal? I have to keep the two point six off. Okay. And keep the NH three plus on. Look at it. I need to have that form. If the pH is above 9.2, this thing is deprotonated. That's not good. So I need to keep the pH below 9.2. I also need to keep the pH above 2.6. Why? Because I need this thing to stay minus. The only time it's minus is when you're above 2.6. So guys and girls, PI is always just two numbers averaged. Always 
two numbers averaged. You must find the right two. My first example was a no-brainer. There are only two numbers. Wait till there's more. I'm only going to be using two of them. I promise. Even if your molecule started with 10 protons. When I get to the PI molecule, I want to know the last off to get to the molecule and then the last off to get away from the molecule. I guess that's what these words would be. This is the last off to get to this right there. And this would be too much taken off. I don't want this. So PI 2.6 plus 9.2 over 2. And I'm going to do it here. Uh, PI 2.6 plus 9.2 over 2. We're looking at 11.8 over 2. It's 5.9. It's okay. Go slow. <laughs> go slow. 5.9. What does that mean? It means above 5.9, that molecule is minus. Below 5.9, that molecule is plus. I'm just reading the last two sentences at the top of the screen. I'm just applying them. You should be applying them. Otherwise, just memorizing words and it means nothing. Continuing to ASP. I'm going to draw ASP fully protonated. I think it's going to have two extra H's more than the handout. Where do they go? Bless you. Two more H's than the handout. One of them goes right here. The other goes down here, doesn't it? They weren't on the handout. Please, which of those is the lower number on the handout? I need the PKA right now for us. 2.1? Just need the one decimal place. That's the one that comes off first. Is it the top one or the bottom one? I think it's the top one, isn't it? The one that's closer to the plus is easier to take off. Do you know why? You're going to make a minus that can swing around and be right beside the plus. They love each other. That other minus ain't so close. Anyway, you don't need to know that for the test. <laughs> the test is all about using the numbers you got. Okay, here we go. I don't think that was on the screen at all. My hand was. H3N plus. Okay, that, that 2.1 is gone. What's the next? Hello, if you're gonna do that to me, I'm gonna do this to you. <laughs> it's a war now. It won't let me draw a zero. This is the state we're in. I know it wasn't a zero. Uh, yeah, that one stays. What's the number for that one? Oops, I messed up. I put four. 3.9? That could have caused a delay in your response. Okay, last one off is the uh, NH3 plus. H2N. No plus, that's so good. You're not gonna let me erase that? Okay, sorry. I'm gonna be talking to this computer a lot today. Kind of fun being in this room. That is not the PI molecule, is it? I think the one before was the PI molecule. They're going to get the mistaken impression it's the one that's right after the fully protonated one. <laughs> it's not. Okay? It's, in these two examples, it was. But it is natural student tendency to look for shortcuts. That's why we have students deprotonating ethanol with sulfate ion on test to this day. Because I see, oh, there's OET in the product. There's no H on the O. Let's take it off now. You've got a PKA minus one comment on your test right now. Three or four of you. Sorry. <laughs> and there's one. Uh, whoa. Did I, did I go too fast here? Three H's. Two H's. I got rid of two instead of 
I went too far, didn't I? I got rid of two H's. Which one has to go back? And H3 plus, I didn't, I'm going one mole at a time. Okay. We're basically, did you know this is like the last question on the test too? It's like the first question on the test and the last question on the test. It's got everything here. And that was, uh, that was an N. <laughs> With three H's and a plus charge. There you go. What's the number for that N with three H's and a plus charge? Nine point. So 9.8. <laughs> they won't let me draw anything. I think it's where my hands are on the pen, too. We're getting there. And then the last species, you can take that H off. H, two, N. I'm just going to CO two minus. Wow. This is me attempting to do CO two minus twice. Like a Rorschach test there. That's fully deprotonated. That's not PI. There's no hey, there's no PKA there because there's no acids left. Oh. So once again, how do you do PI? Well, you got to keep this H off. That was the 2.1. I'm going to write it even more succinctly. Keep 2.1 off. I think this is a better way to say it. Keep. 3.9 on. What's your PI? There's your two numbers. I just listed them for you. 2.1 plus 3.9 is 6 over 2 equals 3.0. There's the PI. Are you surprised this thing has a lower PI than the previous example? No, it's, it had more carboxylic acids. It's more, it's losing H's very easily. It's got a low PI. Next up. Hist. Ah, it's time for some imidazole. Yeah, hist. How do we draw hist? I heard a sniffle too. How appropriate. We're going to do histidine right here histidine that's an oh you know very late okay you don't like my oh fine because the o wasn't blue i'm just going to keep drawing a circle until something happens and nothing okay fine o h this goes to ch2 once twice C double C goes to NH. Tell me if I'm doing this wrong. My memory ain't what it used to be. I'm consulting my handout and it's not complete. There's going to be an H added to that. I got to know where. I'm looking at HIS. Yeah, go C double C to NH and in in going into the ring. Good. Where does the uh, H go? If you put it here, you've made a grievous mistake. You have totally forgotten acid-base chemistry. You took the lone pair that was required for aromaticity and you used it to protonate. Awful, terrible choice. Minus one. You got to put it here where the lone pair is not being used to provide resonance of the aromatic variety, aromatic variety. There you go. I forgot to put the PKA there. I, I think I removed it by mistake. Uh, it's going to ask us, please, I can't write these right now. Can you give me the P, the lowest of the three numbers for histidine, please? Is it 1.3? 1.8, okay. Now it's letting me write. Maybe. There. That's coming off, and that's the CO2H, right? H3N. 
H re re. This is getting a little unworkable, everybody. That's an O minus of the remaining numbers on the handout. Which one is the lowest one now? 6.25? 6.1, yeah. That's the next one, right? Wow, it looks like that's the PI molecule again. You're really going to think it's the second one every time. And you're going to go H2N. That's great. That is my attempt at drawing H2N. Okay. Um, I, think, I think in the end, I'm going to have carpal tunnel syndrome. I'm trying though. <laughs> that didn't work out very well. Double bond. And Double bond M H double N and there's still an H somewhere. There's still an H here. Why does that H stay and the uh, one on the ring came off? That's my question for you. Why does this H stay and the one on the ring came off? There's the one on the oh I didn't have oh, oh the one on the ring came off right away. I took too many H's off. I've done this twice. I got somebody smirking back there. She, I, I was going to say something, but she's too, she's too nice. She's always been too nice. That's good. It wasn't the second molecule. Yay, we have a winner. Okay. Which of those H's came off first? This one, this one, or this one? Don't take two of them off, please. Don't do what I did. Just the red one here, right? Please put the H back on here. That's the sick. Hey, I got a PKA for an H that isn't there. That was our first clue, Dr. Whitaker, that you made a big mistake. There. Now there's the PI molecule. It's not the second one. <laughs> okay. There's only one H left, right? What's the number up there for the uh, amino terminal of histidine? 9.2. So that one's got to stay on. Okay, severe angles might help. Nope. H two N and imidazole. Imidazole is a group. Fully deprotonated, not the PI molecule, huh? So I'm going to short form it 6.1 off, 9.2 on. There's your numbers, right? You got to be on each side of your PI molecule, which was the last H off. I got to keep the last H on. That's the two numbers. Last H off, 6.1. There it is, gone. Uh, last H on. I need this three, this NH3 plus, but here it's gone. Don't go there. 6.192 over 2. PI. PI. 6.1 plus 9.2 over 2. That's 15.3 over 2. Ladies and gentlemen, with rounding, I'm going to tell you if you got an odd one at the end, this is going to help you. You got an odd number at the end, just go to the next one and do the the middle of the average of that. So I said 15.3, make it 15.4 divided by two. 
That'll take care of the rounding for you. I'm just trying to save you time. Do this with an odd number at the end. So 15.4 over two is uh, what, 8.7? That's 16.4, no, 7.7? 7.7. That makes sense, right? 7.7 .7 is 1.6 above 6.1 and 1.5 below 9.2. There's a round. That's our highest PI so far, right? So of all the, the PIs we got, we have a 5.9, a 3.0, and a 7.7. .7. At any given uh, pH, which molecule will be the most negative? Which one? Which molecule's furthest away from its PI? The three. The three will be the most negative always, comparing these three at any pH. Comparing these three PIs, we got a three. We got a 5.9 and we got a 7.7. .7. I get, that's an exam question is somewhere on here. <laughs> and you don't care what the pH is. Which of those is the most negative? The lowest one, three. Which one's the most positive? The highest one, 7.7. .7. All right, we got one more, and we're finally going to draw a polypeptide. Yeah, I'm going to take you back to the board for two seconds. We're going to draw a tripeptide, I think we have all the pictures we need here. Make it a little smaller. Uh, stopping the share. We got our reaction here. So just, just remember, you got to draw the first one like this. Draw the first one. Don't draw its oxygen. Don't draw the two H's on the next one. Draw the N connected to the carbonyl. You're drawing this. I don't care about these guys anymore. I want that. All right? If you're going to put a third one, it's going to go over here. You're not going to draw this oxygen. You're going to put the N of the next one. Okay? We're going to do it right now. We're going to go three colors. And we're here. We'll go blue for F. And it says fully protonated. Still. H. 3. N. Plus. Stop at the carbonyl. Next one in green. N still has an H. Goes to a C that has an R group, goes to a carbonyl. What's this R group? An asp? It goes CH2, C double O. And why is there an H on it? Because we're fully protonated, right? What goes next after the green carbonyl in the chain? What's attached to the green carbonyl in the chain? What was attached to the blue carbonyl in the chain? It's the same story. An NH from the next amino acid. Goes to a C with an R group, goes to a carbonyl. Now, if it's fully protonated, I need the H. And what's that hiss? Oh, I got to C double C in the ring. Goes to a C double C in the ring, goes to an NH. Oh, wow. Goes to an N. It does not light the bottom of the screen. I have vague memories of that from a long time ago. And there's got to be an H on there. Sorry about the ugliness of the drawing. Of all the numbers for the all three of those, some of the numbers are no longer relevant. I'd like to point out that this is no longer relevant whatsoever downstairs because the OH isn't there. So who cares about 2.6 at all? There's no OH there. And remember, amides are meaningless in terms of pKa. Do not use them. You don't have numbers for them, don't use them. I need this number, which I believe is the lowest number available now, and I need its value. It's the second H in ASP. 
The first H is not an option, it's gone. It was in the, this CO. So was that 3.9? That will be the, is 3.9 here lower than the carboxyl terminal of HIS? And the answer is no. 1.8 is the answer. The carboxyl terminal of HIS is the lowest PKA in this tripeptide. It's coming off first. It's dangerous to do R groups on this question. You can do it, but you got to be careful. If your R group changes during the process, it's not the same. If you put a proton in the middle of your R group, you can't call it R anymore. So just drawing it out, even with this torturous computer, is a good exercise. Cross your fingers. There's a potential for a lot of uh, anguish here. Yep, it's begun. That is a lame looking three. I am going to resort to a short form here. So it's okay. It's not a nomenclature question, okay? I could have gone with the fur the whole time. Now he tells us. Uh, that H is staying, right? That's the 3.9 or whatever you said. Yeah, 3.9, it's not gonna go. I gotta remember to take just one H off this time. That's my weak spot today. Carbonyl. Hmm. We're gonna try and just like a hundred different pen angles here. <laughs> How did I make you into an M? N, of course. H goes to, yeah. And H goes to C goes to CO2 minus, that's the CO2 minus now. And C goes to C double, C goes to NH. We're gonna be the midazole experts, they don't take that H off early. Then the 3.9 is next, right? My attempt at a three. All right, that's the next H coming off, 3.9. Question one though, that's not the PI molecule, is it? I see how many pluses? Two. How many minuses? One. Next plus does it, doesn't it? The two numbers available are the, what did you call this, 6.1 earlier? And yeah, 6.1 versus 9.2. Nine point, where were you up here? 9.2? 9.2 seconds, 6.1 is first. Okay. All right. H3, it does not like threes at all. No change there. There's an H, an N. I didn't know what it is anymore. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, these two are identical, aren't they? No, they're not. I took, I took the one point off. Taking the 3.9 off now. Did I say the seven? Taking the 3.9 off now. Tenth time. And carbonyl. I did the car NH carbonyl. Something went awry. You do that on your test, that's fine. You don't want to race everything.
You got to stick this there. Dot, dot. Yeah. Try to avoid redrawing things. And that's an O minus. And I think we can finally circle that. It's not changing anymore, right? No, it is. It is the one that's changing. Line, ring, double bond, NH. And if you talk to yourself as you're doing these things, you do get better at it. Our teacher's teaching us to talk to ourselves. We're not allowed to do this. <laughs> NH double N with the H off. And I'm finally going to resort to this. <laughs> None of that's changing, right? Last H standing. And now it lets me draw freely. Beautiful. Uh, ooh. Did I go too far? I have a minus. There should be two minuses. Two minuses and one. Oh, was it this one? Two minuses, two pluses? Uh, some, too much happened? Too much happened again. I keep doing that. I did two H's. Look at me. I'm doing it now so you don't do it next week or whenever you're doing it. I don't even know. We are moving it to the last Wednesday of the, of the lecture semester, which I believe is not this Wednesday, but Wednesday after that. And uh, Dr. Whitaker is losing his mind with a computer today, so please forgive him. Okay. Uh, what happened going from here to here was two protons again. You don't take a three point, uh, sorry, you don't take a, this is the problem. We got a 1.8, we got a 3.9, and I took the 6.1. There's the 3.9, okay? Mission accomplished on the 3.9. Then things went squirrely because I drew it in the wrong spot, and then I lost my mind. Okay, stop it. Uh, later. Later, alligator. You will be... Hmm. Whoa. That was lethal. Now nothing's in a box anymore. They don't fit anymore? Because I expanded it. Man, man. I'm paying the price now. Yours is going to look a lot neater than mine. Too big. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to fix it, everybody. It's a disaster. And <laughs> it's embarrassing, that's what it is. So basically, this guy is in this box and he needs to go here. Uh, what's the last eight? I was I supposed to put the proton on, and I forgot to because nightmare number four thousand happened. There you go. Yeah, you'll let me circle it someday. There, thanks. And then, yeah, then that becomes a n neutral. Is that the PI molecule now? I think we can finally answer that question, realizing that's a minus charge right here. Minus charge right there. Minus, minus, plus, plus. This is the PI molecule. It goes in this box. This is the PI molecule and it belongs in this box. 
So what was the last H that came off to get there? I don't even know. These, these guys aren't even close anymore. Uh, the number was here, 7.7. .7. What, what was here, 1.8? Sure, get bigger so you can move down here. Uh, what was the number here? That's this number here, if it ever lets me get it. So 3.9 is coming off. Keep off 3.9. How do you keep it off? Do you stay above it or below it? How do you stay, how do you keep an H off? Do you need to be above this number or below this number? Just read the sentences at the top of the screen, I'll come back to you. You have to be above 3.9. Uh, what's the next H coming off? Because I'm putting it in this box here. It's this number right here. I need a number right there. Imidazole. Very close to seven, no surprise. Uh, keep on 6.1. There's your PI. That's uh, 10 over two, isn't it? Five. Okay. KOH. H3N plus. Goes to carbonyl, goes to foot. Goes to, try to do it right this time, N8. It's the ends that get me every time. NH goes to a carbon. It goes to a carbon, goes to a CO2 minus. Goes to a carbonyl. With a uh, green, carbonyl, green, got it, NH. Don't like ends. Those two C, double C, NH. It's finally taken off. CO2 minus. And what's the only proton remaining? And it's number. The only proton is the NH3 plus. The number, please. For, it's for phenylalanine, the NH3 plus on the amino terminal, 9.2. Not a meaningful number for PI, right? No, we're well past the PI. And finally, we can do that thing I tried to do 100 years ago. Uh, we need a different color for our R circle. Doesn't like nitrogen. No PI there, no PKA there. No tank. Uh, we're not ready for this one yet. That's the big finish. Draw the PI form for pro blue lights and calculate PI. Oh, that's where we're getting to. We're going to start from the other end of the spectrum and have a fully deprotonated start for glue tier. I'm gonna do the work for you here. We're gonna go monochromatic. Fully deprotonated means H2N. H2N. I do because I've been doing this for 35 years. She asked, do I have these memorized? Yes. <laughs> you do not have to have these memorized. Glue is the ask. Glue's got a CH2, it's like ASP, but it's got an extra CH2. And then it's got the carboxylic acid, fully deprotonated, C 
CO2 minus. You got to forget about the monochromatic. I like the colors. You know that. NH. I missed another CH2. You are correct. I drew ASP. I said it's like ASP. It ain't that much like ASP. There. Okay. It's got the extra CH2 now. Thank you for catching that. NH goes to C that goes to an R group that goes to a carboxylic deprotonated. CO2 minus. Tyrosine is like phenylalanine with a para hydroxy. What is he saying? Exactly that. There's phenylalanine. I drew phenylalanine. When you do memorize these, you say, oh, I'm going to draw phenylalanine for tyrosine and put a para hydroxy. There you go. Glutyr. Fully deprotonated, though. That's why I was getting a look from this gentleman here. Isn't there a number with that OH? And the number doesn't surprise you one bit because it's a phenol, right? 10 point, is it 10.1 or 10.0 on the handout? 10.1. Don't forget to erase that H because it's fully deprotonated and put a minus there. Trying to put a circle on my minus is torture. There. Okay. So you, there were four numbers. We're going to need all the numbers. And we can do some advanced research. What's going to be in this box? The highest pKa or lowest? Remember, all of the H's came off. You've got to put the, the one that came off last on first. The one that came off last must be the one that comes on first. You can't change the order of things. So the numbers, I think the highest number was the ammonium here that I didn't write a number for. What was the number for the ammonium of glue? 9.5. That will be the H here, because what's 14 minus 9.5? Uh, 4.5. That's the best base of all those numbers that are 14 minus those numbers. Okay? Because you subtracted the biggest number from it. I'm just saying, which one's the strongest base? There's thousands of ways to ask the question. And it's going to go there, NH3+. plus. Uh-oh. Why did the first one have an H2N? Because it's fully deprotonated. No protons available. All of them are gone. Fully deprotonated does not mean the same as the handout, which is at pH 7. Okay. She asked, why did this become an NH2? And I was answering her. And we got a CH2. CO2 minus, that didn't go on yet. N, H, C, CO2 minus, and I just changed my mind. Wasn't the last one off. <laughs> I have to apologize to Rendala. I do. I took the 9.5 off before the 10 point, sorry. I put the 9.5 on before the 10.5. Think about it, which one's a better base? The base that came from a 10 point, I misspoke. The base that came from a 10.1 or the base that came from a 9.5, which one's better? Which one gives the more, the lowest PKB? 14 minus the two numbers I just gave you, the lowest would be from the 10. So 3.9 is the PKB, but the PKA is 10. And yes, I know there's still a mistake. And I did take the wrong H off first. It's a good learning experience for you. You do not 
take a nine point whatever before a 10.1, or sorry, you don't put it on. Yeah. Going backwards, the hard part. You gotta be thinking bases. These are all bases now. The best base is the 14 minus 10.1, giving you the 10.1. Of all the other numbers, it's the 14 minus nine point, and I forgot what the nine point was again. What number did I have in this box by mistake? It next is the 9.5. There's no way to write 9.5 there. It doesn't look like 9.5. Okay, and that's that. And you know, we're going on a case by case basis and the frustration's definitely starting to sink in, especially when it can't even draw a curved line. That's coming. No. No. Are we putting the H on the end next? I wanted to make sure we're right first. When I put the H on the end, it will be 9.5, correct? I circled everything except for the end, called it R prime. This means I might not be able to see my PI molecule. Uh, realize that this is not the PI molecule and this is. What's the charge on this molecule drawn here? Two minuses and nothing else, negative two. This isn't even the PI, is it? I got rid of one of the, I balanced one of the negatives with a plus, right? I think I'm about to draw the PI molecule, so it's a good idea to draw the whole thing. What's the next one that comes? There's two carboxyls, right? Uh, one is close to five or four, four. What is the glue PKA for the side chain, which is the bottom part? 4.1 versus the tyrosine carboxyl terminal. Two point something? 2.2. So the 2.2 the, the is not gonna go on first. It's gonna be the four, the 3.9 you said? 4.1, that's what I'm putting in the box before I forget a third time. I can't write a four. This is just amazing. Okay, we're drawing it. H2. H and H. All because you can't do a two. Okay, carbonyl. NH. Going to a. C CO2 minus. And did I, what H am I taking off? Well, which H am I putting on? I think the one I just drew. Yeah, yeah the four. The four ish gets an H before the three ish or the two ish. Oh, man. Yeah, it's the one I did before. This one. That one. That's the four ish. The two ish stays deprotonated. And we don't have to worry about this. So we can do mini R groups. Try to get creative. That's not changing. Right? R double prime. And we can just go R double prime. Off the C's, yeah. And then we do the big old R triple prime, correct? This is the PI molecule, but this is R triple prime. CO2H. So that was the two-ish. Was it above two or below? What was the number? It's the, 
Yes, the tyrosine amino terminal. And this was the 3.9 you said? Oh, 4.1, I went the other direction, didn't I? So that's from glue side chain. Do we agree? Glue side chain. G-L-U, not G-L-M-N, yeah, 4.1. Good. And wow. And the PI molecule is this one. We got a my no. What was the PI molecule? Our prime had a our triple prime. We have the old mine. Is it, it is this one? Yeah. What's in this R double prime? Is, is there a charge? No. I need a species with a neutral charge, and this one has two minuses, and then one of those became, no, this became an N plus, so I got a plus to balance one of the minuses here. Yeah. And he's three plus. So why is this here? That, that, that's the problem. That's the problem right there. <laughs> This, I'm adding H plus, so I subtracted an H plus from here. What? Yeah, um, uh, so this is this is a lesson in adversity. The computer's getting to me. There's going to be mistakes every turn, and we're going to get through them. They're saying, "Oh, unusable video. It's only usable if you find a way to use it," and that's true for life. Okay. Okay, useful only if you find a way to make it useful. Otherwise, you gave up and you said it's not useful. Please adopt that philosophy. Okay. All right. So we can finally circle a PI molecule. It's got a minus and a plus. There you go. The R double prime did not have a charge. That was a worry of mine. So which one are we? Uh, Let's, let's erase the 4.1, it's out of position. We gotta, we gotta keep the 9.5 on. Keep 9.5 on. Let's always keep one off and keep, keep one on and keep one off. So that should go here from the 9.5 direction. Copy paste. And we we uh, we don't want to uh, keep 4.1 off. Is that good ling uh, language? <laughs> it should be take, right? Take 4.1 off. So your numbers are 9.5, 4.1, right? PI. Yeah. P I equals 9.5. To keep it on, I got to stay below it. 4.1. To keep it off, take it off, I got to be above it. The average of those two numbers will be fitting both of those right in the middle. 13.6 over 2, 6.8. Oh, sorry. I'm going to verify that. 13.6, yeah. Mm. There we have it. Big finish. The longest video of the semester. Takes all day. <laughs> all right. Is there an arrow between the 4.1 and the 2.0? Yeah, that's another. Uh, you're doing the same thing over and over. So HCl one mole. It just never got added. I can't do HCl apparently. And this one, we're gonna wing it. Pro glue life. What I suggest is draw the fully protonated one. 
with a pencil. Why a pencil? Because you're going to take off H's until you get to PI molecule. Let's do it. Now, pro is a uh, cool one. I don't know where this NH2R thing belongs either. I suspect this guy was here. Is this correct? And the R's were done too close to each other, but I think the R circle ended up being near R. Good. Was this in this box here? It was way down here, random. I'm asking, do you have this in your box that's right there? I moved the wrong thing in there? I apologize. I have no idea. You, get, you follow from your notes, not mine. <laughs> I don't know where that belongs. This box? Then what goes in that box? Don't know. There's a random plus charge up here, too. <sighs> pro is a weird one, isn't it? I'm going to copy pro from my handout. Pro. I like the fully protonated one. It's just my preference to start there. It's got a ring in it. That's, just, that's cool. It's, if you had to say what's unique about pro compared to all of the other amino acids, what would you say is the reason why pro is unique? I mean, you can give the obvious one. It's the only one that has NH2 plus over there. All of the other have NH3 plus over there. Well, it's because it's what kind of an amine or what kind of an ammonium, if you want to go proper, secondary, all the others are primary. That's the reason. And it's going to be glue. Did I do glue twice? You know what? I want to glide there because we did a glue earlier. Can you please add it yours to glide? I just changed it to glide. And it goes like that, and it goes to N, okay, carbonyl, C, it's CH2, N to the last carbonyl. Don't forget there's an H on the N, and the last carbonyl is for life. No, I, I did something funny. Before I move on, what did I do funny? Yeah, I don't have an amide in here. <laughs> it's an amide holding these things together. I knew something wasn't adding up. Other than the fact this whole day is not adding up, but that's okay. Then it goes CH2, then a C, which is a carbonyl, which goes to your final amino acid, which is lysine. NH once, twice, three times, four times, NH3 plus. And I have the fully protonated form. Talk to me. Which of those N pluses is, where's my carboxyl terminal? Uh, I'll tell you where my carboxyl terminal is. It's right here. C, C, O, 2, H. Okay. So what's the deal? Which of those H's comes off first? And does it get you closer to PI? It actually gets you what you think is farther from PI, doesn't it? Can I have some numbers? This is the lowest one. Give me a number, please. The carboxyl of lysine is 2.2. It's got to go. It's the first thing that's going. Some students who don't know anything about acid base chemistry are going to do this. Watch. Uh, I got to get rid of both pluses. And then I, it's going to be fine, right? You can't lose those pluses before this plus. This, sorry, this H plus. You can't disobey pKa. That's why we learned it in chapter four. So we could keep using it every test for the first that comes off first you can't disobey the laws of pka you are nowhere near the pi molecule if i could circle my minus i'd be a happy man there thank you 
which NH plus comes off first? What's the number for pro? What's the number for lice? Do not give me the lice that has the one on the far left. Give me the lice for the R group. 10.6 for pro and 10.5 for lice. They're close, aren't they? Which one's first, 10.6 or 10.5? 10.5's first, that's this one, I believe. The lice R group. I'm making sure, yes. To get to PI, you do this. NH2 here, 10.5 came off. Keep 10.5. Leave my comment one more so I can copy it. Keep 10.5 off. I'm just going to use keep all the time. And this one, I need on. On. What is the number again? It was close to 10.5, wasn't it? 10.6. Keep 10.6 on. There's your numbers, 10.5 plus 10.6, so I can't get a pen. PI. .5, 10 10.5 plus 10.6 over two. With rounding, it's gonna be 10.6. Safe. Did I do all the parts of this question? Of course, there's a CH2 missing. Where am I? Uh, we're on this molecule here, and I got a random number four. Lysine. Yeah, four became three. I would like to point out in the verbal version of this video, I did say CH2 four times. I'm just saying. Everybody makes mistakes. Finding those makes mistakes and Correcting them before somebody gets hurt is the most important thing, right? How's that? We're getting all philosophical today in the stress. I put my extra CH2 in. I'm feeling there's a part four I didn't do yet. Yeah, is there a part four? Yeah, circle the PI form for each species and calculate PI. Well, the only one I didn't circle was the one. I'm not circling it. It's in the box that says it's the PI form. Okay, all right. And is it neutral? Yeah, plus one, minus one, done. PI is 10.6, done. Thank you for surviving the most torturous video of the semester.